guys, so guys, this is our project finished, and I have an arcing moment to explain. So CJ's finished his wind turbine for his science fair today. We're just on our way there now to present it. And he's got this cool little RC engine. He used an RC engine to power the wind turbine. So he wants to show you the inside of it. I'm trying to but take it out. It's a bit hard to get out. So while he does that, this is his cool wind turbine experiment. So can my Winnie wind turbine power a light? We need 1.5 volts. They used a normal house fan, a leaf blower and a hair dryer. And the leaf blower got 2.1 volts, so it can definitely power a light. So yes, it can. And there it is down there, but we'll show you that at the science fair. And that's a brushed engine. There are all the parts from the wind turbine. That's his picture. And this is photos of him making, it. making the stand. So he went to Bunnings with his daddy. Whoops. Um, and that's him with the finished product. So that's yeah. CJ's experiment. And this is his cool engine. Okay, Shot. that's the inside. Those are two strong magnets you can... They're two strong magnets, aren't they? Yeah. It's a brushed engine, so the magnets repel each other and make it spin. Uh, so are you excited? Yeah. You got your handsome tie on. Show us your handsome tie. Oh, we love your handsome tie, dude. Yeah. CJ's yeah. got his project. He's got his tie. He's ready to go. Are you ready to go, little science man? We made it. Now we've got to set up. Daddy's hard at work setting up. Yeah. I think CJ might be a little bit nervous. So we've got it going. See it's spinning? That's cool. And it's plugged into this. So, oh, what? Where'd that come from? That's huge. Cool. So CJ's all set up. And there's some really cool ones over here too. We'll check them out later. So this is a new setup. We moved that over there. Got the computer running. Here it comes. Here comes the science man. This is this is what we made. A wind turbine. Okay. What we'll do is we'll start, we'll play our video first of CJ making his wind turbine and what we tried to do. And then you probably ask him some questions possibly afterwards. Do you want to do that? Yeah. yeah. that we have and we don't want to use it as a generator for the wind termite. Um, this is our RC motor with a pellet on it. Um, we have we, we strapped a multimeter to it there and then we just we don't want to put it in front of a house fan and see how much the numbers will come up there. How much volts are you making? It was on zero, and you're getting anywhere between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. Yeah. Now I'm getting zero. So the fan propeller's spinning. We're nearly getting half a volt. We are going to do a little experiment with the sleeve blower, and um, if we get a volt and a half, we'll I'll be able to power a small clock. A small battery clock, okay. Yeah. So we're on zero volts. Here's our fan. Go for it, CJ. Touch the light there. And we have a leaf blower. We're going to try to power light.
This is a cool bending water thing. Our water molecule is attracted by charges. They've got a hypothesis, a procedure and a conclusion. So that's pretty cool, they've got the results there. The water bends towards the fly stick. So don't, they made bubbles. How to make a thermometer, wow. And their question is, can a simple test tube with air and water in it respond to warmth? And I think the results is yes. The warmth of the hand makes the air molecules in the test tube move faster and expand. Cool. Walking water. Look at this celery. They put it in red dye and now the leaves are starting to turn red. Because the water it's drinking is red. And the water goes from one cup to the other mixing the colours. See the tea towels have changed colours because they sucked up the water from the cup. What do you like about today? Everything. Are you enjoying yourself? Did you get embarrassed when you had to talk? Huh? Jet was kicked out because he was too noisy. <laughs> one very shy, one too noisy. Uh, we're making bubble things. Bubble things? Cube bubbles. <laughs> so what are we making, Jetty? We're making a cube and we're going to put it in bubble mix and we're going to make cube bubbles. That's cool. It is tricky. So we've got our corners and then we're going to put it together into a cube. It's not like crooked. So that's it. That's our cube. It is a little bit crooked. We're going to make cube bubbles. We're going to make cube bubbles. Cool. Green stuff there. Look at that. Jellish. Now you can see it's very slippery sort of stuff and that makes the water more flexible. When they have the glycerine and all the corn syrup, different. Okay, so we're not uh, accurately mixing. And now we've got a really interesting jelly mix in here. So just, gee, that's really slimy. Is that cool? Oh, I didn't make it. Here we go, guys. Oh. Ah. <laughs> yeah, no blowing. Oh. Oh. oh! See that's Get a bit warm here now. Watch this, guys. Oh, oh cool! Look, did you see that? Yeah. Oh! How's that, guys? Cool. Okay, this one might work. Look, this one's working, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Yay! Mr. Cornwell! Do I science fair? What is it? A solar aeroplane. Solar energy wooden air biplane. Well done. Well done, CJ. Did you have fun today? Yeah. How do you drive it? <laughs> <laughs> we'll build it. Thanks for watching. Here's your way.